Here we see the mighty KV-85 and the Chinu. Let's see what they do. With his biased Russian armor, the KV-85 leads the way. With more map experience, the KV-85 chooses the next camping spots to flank the enemies. Finding the perfect spots, they both take out the positions to snipe. With the Chinu watching the back road and the KV-85 watching the main battlefield, they both wait. The KV-85 is startled, it hears something. Not aware, the Chinu is warned by the KV-85 to be cautious. Unbeknownst, the VK doesn't notice the Chinu either. This is wild. Thanks to the commander for having high-res audio headphones, or not, they would have been flanked. With that out the way, the KV-85 resumes its watch. Getting frustrated, the KV-85 pushes the tree down to get better view on the battlefield. Here we see a Churchill Dunes mating ritual, spewing its hot sticky flammable liquid, trying to be as potential mate to the KV-85. The KV-85 shows no interest. Given that it has good hearing, it's pretty damn well blind, for sure. With his mighty gun, it takes down another prey. At the same time, in the distance, we see Churchill struggling to get over the rocks. Surprisingly, the Chinu hasn't noticed the big beast climbing over the rocks. Finally notice the beast. It takes ready. It shoots. It has no pin. The Chinu alerts the KV-85. Another successful kill. It retreats back into his hiding spot. A whole load of nothing really happened. So then it got really kind of boring for the KV-85. Not gonna lie, that was actually pretty cool. But RP to those two other tanks. Intrigued by the teammates shooting, the KV-85 investigates. It spots the Mim Meow tank. With good map awareness, Chi Nu notices that there's a tank behind them. Being alerted, the KV-85 makes the most absurd turn ever. KV-85 is in pickle. It's got his turn to the back for some reason. Be confident that KV-85 rushes the enemy. The enemy is disposed of. The Chinu is fatally wounded. It needs a new barrel. The KV-85 goes over to help out his mate. Yet does the KV-85 knows that without his parts modification installed, it can't help out other tanks. Nearing the end of the match, the KV-85 goes to a new position. If you like the kind of videos I make, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more gaming content.